Okay, so here we have uh, a presentation of the API programs uh, that we have uh, in Italy. That at this moment we have open uh, uh, both Florence and Rome uh, as Italian destinations. Um, this is an overview of uh, where uh, bo both cities are. They're both located in the central Italy, so also the position of both cities that you can see here, both Florence and Rome, are really strategic positions because uh, it's um, they are very well connected with uh, the rest of Italy. There are uh, high-speed train to connect the main cities uh, and uh, there are also uh, two destinations from where you can reach the main destinations and capitals uh, in Europe. So also from a geographical uh, um, point of view, it, uh, both cities uh, are really great. Uh, a few information about Florence and then uh, I'll give you some information about uh, Rome. Of course, everyone uh, has uh, a base of information about both cities. Uh, Florence uh, is uh, a smaller city compared to Rome, but uh, it's uh, an historical city, enchanting, it has a lot of traditions uh, and it has a huge artistic side that is still very alive. It's uh, amazing because you can uh, live uh, in Florence your whole life uh, and still be amazed by the city, by its narrow streets uh, and getting lost uh, in, uh, in its alleys uh, all the time. But it also has uh, an international community of students, uh, both Italians and foreigners. There are not just Americans in Florence, but there are also many important Italian universities. So also the Italian student community is big, it's alive, uh, and uh, it's really fresh and uh, amazing environment to be. As I said already, the geographic position also helps uh, and Florence is also very far, it's less than one hour to reach uh, uh, the coast, uh, especially in the, in the good season, that's a, a plus one, that's a plus, of course. The school we collaborate with uh, in Florence is Lorenzo de' Medici, the Italian International Institute. They have a whole series of uh, departments uh, and courses that they offer. Of course, there might be some changes depending on uh, the semester, the length of the semester especially, but this is uh, uh, sort of an overview of everything that, uh, that they offer from business to communication uh, to history and arts. Uh, um, they have a huge range uh, of possibilities and uh, they also have uh, internship opportunities. They have great laboratories for fashion, for art, restorations, painting, drawing, uh, photography, and whatever you can think of, basically. And they also have two cooking schools um, where they take uh, all the cooking-related uh, uh, classes. So they have cooking class, uh, pairing food and wine, and uh, other type of courses that they offer. Rome, as I already mentioned, is a bigger city, is the capital of Italy, it has more than 5 million inhabitants, but it has a sort of a small town attitude, especially in the neighborhood where the school and uh, the apartments that API has uh, are located, uh, because it's like living uh, uh, really in a small town, it's um, a human dimension. Uh, the, the school and uh, the program in Rome is multi-oriented, uh, has a multi-oriented approach, so it's not only focused on art, it's not only focused on archaeology, even if uh, the main thing that you can think of when uh, uh, considering Rome uh, are like very ancient monuments like the Colosseum, Pantheon, etc. But they have uh, um, a lot of other courses and offerings uh, and uh, there is also in Rome a big uh, international presence uh, combined with uh, a national student com community that is uh, very alive. The school in, uh, in Rome is the John Cabot University. They have uh, usually um, between 13,000 and 1,300 and 1,500 students uh, per semester, uh, including 
degree seekers. Uh, they are particularly strong uh, on business, business, economics, uh, and finance, but they also have uh, another uh, huge variety of courses. Uh, also at JCU, there are a lot of internship programs, uh, more than 600, 600 opportunities are available throughout the year. They have, uh, uh, besides on-site cl on classes, they also organize field trips uh, and they have a communication department and art labs, uh, video, audio recording room. So a lot, lot of facilities. Here we have uh, uh, an overview of the majors and minors that are available at John Cabot University in Rome. So we go from art history, business, economics, uh, literature, history, human, humanistic studies, uh, and everything. So you can see that also in this case, uh, the, the course offering is very wide uh, and you can basically uh, find the course that you need. There are high chances that you find the course that you need because they have a huge offering. Uh, the facilities and services, this is uh, a recap of all uh, the services that we have and that are more or less the same for uh, all the Italy programs. Uh, during the orientation week, we have included the airport reception, then uh, we organize a series of safety, housing and info session meetings. Uh, the housing move-in is organized and is combined with the housing check-in and sessions where you can get all the information about the apartments, the house, everything. And uh, during the orientation week, there are also some ice-breaking activities uh, to get to know the other students in the program and also activities like city tour, neighborhood walking tours, so that you can get to know the city and the area where you will live to get all the necessary inform information for your daily life uh, in Florence. Um, of course, uh, uh, there is always uh, on-site staff available. Uh, we also have a 24-7 emergency number that all the API staff uh, has. So someone will always respond to you in case you have emergency. And of course, during the day, we're always available. We, you can get in contact with us via email, via Facebook. You can ask for a meeting with the residence director. Uh, also, if you just want to talk or you need any information about the city, about what to do and everything. Also in both cities, we have uh, health resources, we have uh, medical services with uh, um, public and private clinics with uh, English speaking doctors, and also an on call service with a home visit uh, available 24 seven. And also of course, uh, all the specialists are available. We have counselor, uh, and all the types of specialists that we can uh, help you to get in contact with uh, and for all the logistics uh, and organizations we are all, of course uh, always available. The housing uh, is uh, mainly through apartment in Rome we also have the option of uh, host families. Um, they're located in the historical center in Florence uh, because that's where the school uh, and the historical center is small enough to uh, not have to be divided uh, in neighborhoods. Uh, in Rome, all the apartments are located in the area of Trastevere, that is one of the uh, neighborhoods of Rome, that is where both uh, um, the school and the apartments are located. This is all uh, um, made in a way that you always can walk uh, from home uh, to school, you don't need to take public transportations uh, uh, to move from your apartment to the school facilities. All the apartments, of course, uh, are fully equipped. There are uh, all the kitchen appliances and the, the apartment appliances, all the tools that you might need, washing machine and linens are uh, included. There are also safety features. Uh, 
like smoke detector, emergency kit, and of course, uh, all the apartments uh, have uh, internet or Wi-Fi connection available from the moment uh, you move into the apartment. Also, we have uh, included uh, a cleaning service uh, where uh, people come and clean the apartments to give you further help. They clean all the common areas, the rooms, the bathrooms, the kitchen, uh, so that um, they give you help. We have uh, a couple of examples of uh, how the apartments, uh, the apartments might look uh, in Florence uh, and uh, in Rome. So there are always common areas like kitchen and living room. In this case, we have uh, two double rooms uh, and uh, two bathrooms. In other cases, we might have a uh, different number of students living in the apartment. In any case, uh, the minimum number of students is usually two. The maximum number of students uh, is usually eight. We can to not use apartment to have more than eight, maximum can be 10 students in the same apartment. And of course, in those cases, there must be more bathrooms and uh, bigger or more common areas. Uh, this is an example of uh, the housing in Rome. So it's another apartment with the three double rooms plus one single room, two bathrooms, uh, and again, common areas like a kitchen and living. So all the programs uh, include some excursions. Uh, they can vary, the destinations of the excursions vary depending uh, on uh, the API program site. So we have different excursions uh, starting from Florence uh, and starting from uh, Rome uh, for geographical reason uh, to avoid uh, making the trip uh, that is always by private bus uh, to avoid making it too long. Um, we have some examples of some of the destinations we visit, for example, from Florence, we visit Bologna and Modena. In Bologna, we have a city tour. In Modena, we have a balsamic vinegar factory with visits and tastings. So all these excursions always include visits of cities, but also other cultural activities, entrances, tours uh, like uh, at the Cinque Terre, we also have uh, included uh, a boat tour and the visit uh, of some of these uh, five villages uh, that are part of the UNESCO National Park uh, and are amazing destinations to see in Italy. Always from Florence, uh, we visit uh, um, main cities uh, like Venice, uh, or uh, uh, we organize also excursions around Tuscany, the region where Florence is located, including visits to big cities like Siena, the city that is famous for the Palio, the horseback race and wine tasting in the Chianti area or other activities similar. From, um, from Rome, uh, there is also the possibility to do a Tuscany excursion because it's uh, uh, the destinations we visit, uh, they're almost uh, halfway between Florence uh, and Rome. Uh, uh, departing from Rome instead, uh, there is an excursion planned to Florence uh, to discover the beauties uh, of the city uh, that has museum tours and cooking class uh, as further activities. Uh, another excursion plan from Rome uh, is the Francigena, so it's uh, the ancient pilgrim route that connected uh, two of the regions uh, of the center of Italy. So there are, uh, it's a walk, it's an itinerary through nature and medieval towns so that uh, gives you the chance to discover another side uh, of Italy. And another excursion plan from Rome is the Amalfi Coast. So, the Amalfi Coast is the area um, around Sorrento, Capri, Positano, Amalfi. So there are some uh, visits to like the, Cap the Capri Island uh, and it also usually includes uh, activities like the Pompeii guided tour of the archaeological site uh, or uh, volcano hiking of the Vesuvius that is uh, the volcano just next uh, to Naples. 
Cultural activities, of course, they vary depending on the city offering, uh, but usually we always have included uh, activities like cooking classes, museum tours, uh, gelato workshop or other types of uh, themed workshops, uh, discovering the cities uh, that can be just walks, discovering the best parks or the best spots in the cities, uh, opera night or theater night, uh, exhibitions or shows, uh, everything depends and varies uh, uh, depending on the semester, on the session, of course, and depending on the season. There are also, uh, both in Florence and in Rome, extracurricular activities uh, like the API Gives Back, uh, that is a volunteer project that actually includes uh, different possibilities uh, from uh, uh, gardening and cleaning areas uh, of the town uh, to um, assistance uh, to the elderly and people in need, uh, food banks, uh, or becoming a, a voluntary tour guide. There are a lot of different uh, options. And also we offer Italian tutoring and language exchange programs. The language exchange programs are both with Italian students and also with Italian families. So there are, uh, they are a really great chance to get to know some, some locals, some Italian. And I think that's it. Thank you for the attention. Jenny, can we have you jump in and share a little bit about your time in Florence? Yes. Um, so right off the bat, API is just like a lifesaver. As soon as you get off the plane, you walk through those doors, they're right there and they just get you on a bus. They get you to like a beautiful hotel and it, they tell you everything that you have to do. They help you through the entire process. They're super helpful. Just lifesavers the entire time I was there. Uh, I went to every excursion, I'm pretty sure, which you should if you go because it's already paid for and they give you meals and it's like multiple courses and you have guided tours, which I found were so much better than just walking around a city and not knowing what you're looking at. And it's just so nice. And for me, like our API group was small enough where we all felt like a family and like I got to know everyone super well and we loved our guides and they were so easy to get along with which made the experience so much more fun and also orientation week they really just help you out and try and get the lay of the land um, they showed us our markets and like where we can get our food they gave us advice on what not to do to be like really picked out as an American tourist and like try and fit in more in Florence and honestly it was so great the apartments feel like you're out of a movie <laughs> like when we got to ours it was right outside of Santa Croce church like you walked out and that was our front yard and we were just like this is out of a dream like it's amazing <laughs> um I'm trying to think of other stuff can you talk about the academics? I know a lot of students mm -hmm. at UMD specifically are wondering how they get their classes approved, how they decide what classes to take. So if you could talk about that process, that might be helpful. Yeah, of course. Um, so you basically get to go to their website and look at everything that you need and they list out all the classes. So then you can just like write them out and then try and get approved. Usually it's pretty easy to get them approved. You just meet with the Dean if it's not already on the list of approved classes like the dean of your department um, and they're usually pretty flexible with that and the classes are all great LDM is so great all their professors are amazing like all the classes that I took were so great I also recommend doing cooking classes like the wine food and wine pairing because I didn't do any of that I tried to get all my credits in and I wish I would have done that because so many of my friends did it and they would literally just cook in class and <laughs> drink wine and learn how to pair it and I was like oh that's that's so much fun <laughs> I'm taking a test today <laughs> so yeah I highly recommend that it's not difficult like the process is super smooth um just try and get some credits in try to do some fun classes while you're there too um LDM itself is super helpful. They also offer activities that you can sign up for. So if when you're a part of API and then you also have LDM activities, like you can really just fill out your schedule with cooking classes and excursions and really see the countryside and Florence in general. 
yeah, they're really great. <laughs> anything else that UMD students should know about studying abroad or anything that you wish that you would have known before you started the process? Um, yes, I think don't worry so much about doing it. I feel like I had a lot of a lot of anxiety going into it just worrying about like who meeting people and just getting situated in my apartment and leaving the airport and getting lost and honestly like it's nothing to worry about like once you get there and you meet everyone you'll know that everyone's on the same boat as you and it's really just like a family type thing like you guys depend on each other and you lean on each other and you'll you'll make friends like this like it's super easy Florence is super welcoming. It really is like a small town. Like three weeks in, I felt like I was like a local. I knew my way around. Like it was super easy. It really does begin to feel like home and you really get to pick out your spots like where you do become a local. And um, I guess classes too, like they're not as difficult as they are over here. Like they still require an amount of work and like effort to be put into, but they are more like discussion based and exams too are all they're not multiple choice they're all written out and while that might be like scary but it's not as bad as people think um coming back after that i realized that i really had it easy over there and the classes i took were fantastic my professors were awesome and that was kind of a culture shock coming back yeah but they should not worry they experience I would um but yeah great well thank you so much Jenny and Valentina I'm going to stop the recording now but if you um any students have any questions you can find more information at apiabroad.com or you can reach out to the UMD office and we can get you connected with Jenny or um, someone else from API who can answer questions <laughs>